It's important for Lockheed Martin to always bring new capabilities to our customers. Our warfighters need the most uh, advanced capabilities. So what if we can bring advanced communications to the battlefield? In this case, in the form of 5G. What does that do for the warfighter? What kind of new capabilities does high-speed, low-latency communications do? We decided to conduct a 5G field exercise as a first step in answering questions like these. We've developed Open Architecture Processors, or OAPs, for both ground and air military systems. These rugged OAPs are designed for the tactical environments. They're great for demonstrating a 5G ground vehicle capability. For this proof of principle exercise, we're equipping two commercial Humvees with 5G enabled OAPs and we're driving them through Florida scrubland to test the performance of high-speed, low-latency communications. We set up the cloud environment for, to prepare for this demo. Um, we had two Hummers. Each of them are sending data, video and data, to the cloud, and the cloud is analyzing that data, and it can also view the data. So today we tested uh, various scenarios. Uh, we tested when the Hummers were stationary, when they were on the move, when they intersected. We even tested when the Hummers were out of sight from the tower and we were collecting telemetry data like RF signals, bandwidth, and latency. We achieved the latency numbers of what we predicted, which was 20 to 30 milliseconds. And that actually is way better than what we traditionally see going over a cellular connection. Why is latency so important with gaming? It's all about seeing what you can see. Can you respond fast enough? So this technology is showing that if you use it properly with 5G, we can lower that latency to actually being able to detect threats and respond to them. We're going to come back, we're going to process that data and determine under what scenarios, under what conditions did we see you know, low latency, high bandwidth. What were the operational environment considerations that the soldier may have to take into consideration in the future? In essence, what capabilities and limitations does 5G bring to the warfighter? As a program manager on our advanced vehicle defense systems, and also as a combat veteran myself, I'm very proud to be working on new capabilities for our warfighters. With 5G, we're answering the question is, what if I could take that and bring in a new capability? What does that mean for the warfighter? Does that give them more survivability, more lethality? And in the end, does that bring them home safely? And that's what we're all about at Lockheed Martin, to make sure that happens.